Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about the best of the best from the month of November, my favorite products that I discovered this month, and I have quite a bit of new products to share with you, and several of these products just really, really wowed me, and I'm so excited to share. So let's get started. Okay, before we get started, I wanted to tell you, I have been using the new YouTube shopping feature that they have. So you can actually shop products through YouTube. I'll tag them, whatever I can find. Through that feature, I will tag them down below. I think it's just an easier way to shop. But as always, I'll leave links in the description box as well if you prefer that method of shopping as well. Okay, let's dive in. I've only got one body care product. Everything else is makeup. So let's go ahead and start with that and knock that out of the way. This is the Osea. I think it's how you say this brown, Osea, Osea, the anti-aging body balm. This is a miracle product. It feels amazing. And it is basically like a lotion meets a balm product. I don't know if you guys use body balms. I have them and I love them, but the only complaint that I have is that they're very heavy, sticky products. So usually what I'll do is I will use them at night or maybe I'll just use them in certain areas like my shoulder or my collarbone to give a little bit of a glow to the skin. But it's Typically those products are a little too heavy for me to just slather all over. This took all the benefits of a body balm and it put it in a lighter weight formula. I'm gonna show you guys. I, I got a sample of this in something, I forget how I acquired a sample, like a small little sample of it. And I tried it and then I went back and I bought the big bottle. It was at the Ulta inside my Target. <gasps> Do you see that? Ugh. And it smells like a spa. I don't know what the scent is. Let me see if it tells me. This body care reimagined. Silky body balm combines the lasting hydration of a lotion with the anti-aging benefits of a serum. A seaweed improves the appearance of skin elasticity and makes skin feel tighter all over. Let's see, combination of passion fruit, coconut, acai, and basu oils. All day hydration while you glow. Okay, I'm not sure what the scent is, but it's recognizable. It smells like a spa, like a really high-end spa. In fact, this brand, I know they sell at spas. But do you see the glow that that gives on the skin? Especially this time of year, my skin gets so dry. And I'll use my regular body lotion and then I'll even go in with something like this. But it's just amazing. It feels so good. It's so easy to blend into the skin and it just gives the skin a really pretty, pretty glow. And it smells Oh, like essential oils or something. Love this. I promise you, if you try this and you like body bombs, you will never go back to a traditional body bomb. Okay, let's talk about a couple of very affordable complexion products. And full disclaimer, total full disclaimer, I just used these today. So I'm gonna just tell you that right now, okay? <laughs> because, um, you know, when we talk about our monthly favorites, like it's fair to say that these are all pretty much new favorites, right? Because we discovered them in the month of of the current month. This is very, very new. I use this today for the first time, but it was a product that really knocked my socks off and it is very affordable and I just have to share it in this video. Like I just can't, I can't keep this to myself. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Foundation. <gasps> this, you guys, I did a video earlier today uh, using all ColourPop products. So I just ordered this just to kind of fill the foundation box for that video. And I put this on and I was blown away. Very lightweight, very natural looking on the skin. The finish is very natural skin-like. It's not very like glowy or dewy and it's not matte either. It's right there in that like natural looking hydrated skin finish. The coverage is a good medium coverage. It's not a full coverage foundation, but it's very, very beautiful. The shade that I grabbed and I ordered this online and I'm so proud of myself because I don't think you could have found a better match for my skin tone is Light 60N. Light 60N. It is beautiful. I've had it on now for, let's see, it's 2.30. I've had it on for now about four or five, four and a half hours, and it still looks great. I haven't touched up yet. Yeah, it still looks really, really good. Very natural. I'm gonna be wearing this uh, a lot. This is gonna come home with me. You know, usually I keep makeup at my studio, but the stuff that I really love comes home, and this is coming home with me so good. Okay, let's jump over to, I have two more ColourPop products from that video. Let me go ahead and just share, because they tie in with the foundation. I bought the Coordinating Concealer, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Same thing. Very lightweight, very natural, very hydrating. Blends into the skin effortlessly. It almost feels like a serum concealer. I don't believe that it is. At least I don't see that marketed on it. But it has that serum-like 
uh, consistency and texture. You know, serum foundations and concealers are just very lightweight and silky and they blend into the skin so nicely. That's exactly how this did. And again, exact perfect color for me. I got shade medium 85N, I think is the shade that I got. And I will say it's a perfect match. It's not a super brightening color for me, but it works really well. And it's more neutral. It's not on the peachy side. So it's not like necessarily a color correcting concealer shade for me, but it worked really well. And I did not get much sleep last night, got like five hours. And I mean, it just freshened me up, woke me up. Really, really love this, affordable too. Let's jump over to mix it up. I've got one more ColourPop product, but I'm just gonna bounce on over here to another skincare product. This is the Jet Lag Mask by Summer Fridays. I got this in a swag bag at the Inc. 5000 Gala back in was it October that we went? About a month ago, we went to the gala and we had swag bags. And Summer Fridays, a couple products of theirs were in the bag. This is a very, very hydrating mask. The way that you use this is you just apply a very generous layer over your skin and you. it says to leave it for about 15 minutes and then to remove it with a wipe. It says you don't need to rinse your face, I believe. Yeah, I don't think you need to rinse your face. I actually just leave it on my face as my nighttime moisturizer, not every night, maybe two or three nights a week. And when my skin feels really, really dry and I just need that extra boost of hydration, I will use this at night and I will wake up and my skin feels so much more hydrated than it did before. So I really enjoy it. I'm not using it as it's intended, so I'm just leaving it on and, and going, but I really, really love it. If you need a really great hydrating mask for these winter months, I recommend this one. Next up, we have two lipsticks from Ravi Beauty, which is Ali Glein's new cosmetic brand, and I'm so excited to support her. I love her, as I'm sure many of you do. She's just such a breath of fresh air on YouTube. She's super talented, so creative, and truly a beautiful person, not just you know externally, which is obvious, but internally, she is such a beautiful, beautiful person. And I was so excited for her when I saw that she was launching her own brand. Ravi Beauty. There's actually three shades and the shade that I wear the most is Dahlia, which of course I left at home, but I have Lily and I also have Tulip. I have Lily on my lips right now. What I love about this formula is it's very buildable. So you can get like full pigment payoff, but you can also get a nice sheer wash of color. So this is Lily, just one little swatch. If you want to wear a really sheer layer, they're very hydrating on the lips. If you want to build Lily up, you're going to get this perfect nude kind of like a beigey nude lip color. They have a nice little shine to them, but it's not a thick glossy texture. Do you see that? Do you see how you get that really pretty shine? So this is the shade Lily. This is what I have on my lips now, and they're so easy to apply. The lipstick bullet is the perfect size. It really just fits perfectly on the lips. I know everyone's lips are different sizes, but I don't particularly have large lips, and it just fits perfectly without being you know too big of a bullet. They're so hydrating on the lips, they feel so good, and the color really does last, you know, for a good couple hours. If you eat or drink, you may need to touch up with any other, like any other lipstick, but they do have really great wearability. This is the shade Tulip, which is a little bit more of like a pop of color. So this is how Tulip looks with like just one or two swatches kind of sheer, and then you can layer it and get more color. And Dahlia is more of a little rosy pink. That's the one I wear the most, that one's at home but this is Tulip right here. They're so beautiful and they're also very versatile. What I love about this formula is you can really tweak it depending on the lip liner that you use. They really morph into different tones and shades depending on the liner that you use. They're very, very versatile and very easy to work with. So if you have not picked up Ali Glein's new lipsticks. Check them out, go support her. She's amazing and we love her. Okay, let's hop on over to a palette that I was influenced by Nikki. I was actually influenced by Nikki for two of these products. Let's dive into both of them. So when I was in LA last month for Nikki's launch party, we got together and filmed a couple of videos that she's starting to upload on her YouTube channel. I know she's uploaded one of them already. Um, but we filmed a few. And of course, anytime I'm around Nikki or really anyone that's into makeup or does makeup, Makeup, I'm always Snoopy. I'm always like, what's in your makeup bag? What's in your kit? When I see a makeup artist and they have this big elaborate kit like Nikki, I was just like, ooh, what's in here? <laughs> and she was raving about this mascara. This is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. This is impressive, you guys. I do have a little lash on right now. I have Martini from Risa. Uh, Risa does makeup and BK Beauty Martini uh, half lashes on right now. But this mascara is all I've been wearing the last couple of weeks. And let me tell you, this will give you just drama. Two little coats of it and 
bam, like high impact, very impressive, big results, lots of volume. That's really where this product shines is a lot of volume, but it also gives length. I um, really, really love this. The only complaint that I have about it, um, it's a little bit of a thicker formula. So, you know, when you get a mascara and you can just tell quickly that it's going to get a little messy or it's one that you might have to replace more frequently than others just because it's just messier. That is the one complaint I have about it, but other than that, if you like dramatic lashes, this is definitely one you want to grab. Okay, one more product that Nikki influenced me to get is this Dior little quad palette, highlighter palette. Comes with four highlighting shades, and I've seen this before at Sephora many times, and I always pass through it because one, I'm not a big, like, I don't wear highlight a lot on the skin. I will wear it for special events or I will wear it for photo shoots, but day to day, it's not a product that I wear a lot. And so I just kind of passed over. And then also like this is a darker highlight shade. I didn't think I would use much. This looked too white to me and this looked too pink. Like this was the only shade of this palette that I thought I would actually wear on the skin. But she was showing me just how beautiful these are all over the face and how pretty this brown shade is as a lid color. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is stunning. And and even this white shade, it is very white, but if you take a, let's do it now together, shall we? If you take a brush, I'm gonna take this N13 crease brush from Nikki's set, and I'm just, I just kind of removed what was on it, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this, and even just using a fluffy brush in that white shade, if you just pop this like right in here, in the inner corner, it just lights up the eyes, and it's actually not as stark white as you would think it would be. It's very beautiful. So I love that. You can also run it underneath the brow. If you use a fluffy brush, you can run that light color underneath the brow. And then this gold shade is really beautiful for the eyes. These are all beautiful for the eyes. So that's what kind of convinced me to buy it. I was like, okay, I might not wear these all on the face as, as highlight colors, but I could wear them on the eyes. The formula's really, really nice. It's very refined. So there definitely is a high pearlescent, you know, highlight shimmer to it, uh, but it's very refined. It's not chunky. Do you see that? And depending on the brush you use, you can either get like opaque opacity like this, or you can use a soft fluffy brush and really shear it out on the skin. So I've been loving this. I've been wearing these on the eyes. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's jump in. Speaking of Nikki's brushes, that's definitely been a favorite this month because I have been using them nonstop. So shameless little plug, BK Beauty and Nikki LaRoe's seven piece pro series brush collection launched this month. And it has definitely been a favorite in it you get seven brushes i have them all here and please excuse them because they have been well loved and well used and i need to wash them but i just love these brushes they're very very versatile so nikki designed these nikki's a pro celebrity makeup artist as many of you guys know and when she designed these she wanted brushes that were pro inspired brushes that she would use in her kit on clients but also that were easy for the everyday woman to use whether you just wear a couple makeup products or you do full out glam every day she wanted them to be brushes that were very very multitasking and they really really are and I always like challenge you guys if you buy her brushes or any brushes even if they're non BK beauty really like challenge yourself and experiment using brushes in different ways try not to get in the mindset that you can only use this brush for this one application but I love these I've been using them a ton I particularly love the dual sided in 17 I will use this for liquid foundation cream blush on this side and then I'll turn it over and I will use this for setting powder or if I'm using powder blush or if I'm using highlight. I really love this brush. This brush gets a lot of love. And we've had a lot of questions if these were going to be sold individually and they will. Our projection is like January or early February. So come January, come early February, you will be able to buy these brushes individually. Right now they're only offered in the set, but soon enough you can pick them up individually. So if you're holding off to just get one that you're interested in, you won't have to wait too much longer. And if you have the set and you have some of your favorites that you already want backups of, keep an eye. If you're not signed up for our newsletter, sign up for that because that group is always the first to know about everything. And sometimes some special exclusive sales. So definitely worth signing up for. I'll drop a link down below. Okay, moving right along. Let's talk about a couple of eyeliners I have, and I'm excited about these. So I've heard and rave reviews about Victoria Beckham for a while now, and I finally placed an order. I ordered a few eyeliners. I ordered an eyeshadow. I ordered ordered a couple of products. I ordered this one. This is what did me in though, because I saw an ad for this and it reminded me so much of my Charlotte Tilbury Amber Haze eyeliner, but in an actual true 
eyeliner size. The chame color Chameleon is more of a chunky kind of eye crayon, and this is more of an eye pencil, and it looks very similar in the shade. This is a little bit more olive, but it's still that really beautiful, like ambery golden bronze shade. I love these. These are so creamy and so silky. You do have some time to work with them and soften or smudge them if you want to with a brush, or wing them out if you want to, but they do a great job of staying in place once they dry and set. This particular color is the shade bronze and it's stunning and beautiful. I'm gonna do a video on all the Victoria Beckham products that I did purchase and give you guys my thoughts once I get you know a chance to really use them and test them all, but this is one that I love. Next up, we have Hourglass's eyeliner in the shade chestnut and I was completely sold on this because I was watching a video by Chelsea Thompson. She's on Instagram. I'll pop her IG right here so you can see the specific video I'm talking about. And she was using this pencil and I have this pencil in two other shades and I really like it. I wouldn't have thought to pick up the shade chestnut because when I hear chestnut, I think just like a dark rich brown, which I have plenty of those. But this particular shade, when she applied it and smudged it out, it was so beautiful. It's just this really warm kind of reddish brown and on her eyes it actually looked a little bit more plum so it kind of shifts depending on your skin tone on me it looks a little bit more red it is stunning it is so so beautiful and I loved what she did she just lined her eyes and she kind of pulled it out with a brush to create a little wing and this too just like the Victoria Beckham has some time for you to smoke it out manipulate it's very soft but it also stays in place once it's on blue or green eyes it is stunning on okay popping over to a couple of lip these are from Girl Lactic, and these are the Jello. What's the actual name? It's called the Jello Gloss Balm. These have been a new favorite for me in the mornings. I mean, they're really beautiful any time of the day. It doesn't have to just be like a gym day or a no makeup day. They're really beautiful when you have a full face of makeup on too. But in the mornings when I'm heading to the gym, I want a little bit of hydration on the lips. And my lips are very lifeless is probably the best color way to describe the color. They're just like pale and when I'm cold, they're like purple. Um, so I like to add a little warmth to my lips, but I don't wanna have lipstick on or a lot of color when I head to the gym. I love the shade Glossiest and also the shade uh, All Natural. This one too is really nice. These, mm, they smell like a grape popsicle. They're very sweet smelling, which I love. It kind of takes me back to being like a kid. It's like the grown-up version of your kid smacker. You know what I mean? Like a grown-up, high-quality, beautiful, luxe version of the lip smacker. If you can, if you can remember lip smackers, and it takes you back to that. It's kind of what this does. I love it. These are like glossy lip balms. They kind of remind me of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, and you guys know that I love those. And I'm just layering them here, but these can be worn. Look at me. I'm literally layering them back and forth. These can be worn over a lip color or by themselves. They have a good amount of pigment, though. If you use a color that has more pigments. So these are more natural. Let me swatch these on my hand so you can see. This is all natural and this is the glossiest. Glossiest is pretty much clear. Glossy is pretty much clear. All Natural has a little bit of a rosy tint to it, but they do have shades that are more pigmented. Like this one is called Magnolia, and Magnolia has quite a bit of color. But you know, that really beautiful, glossy, balm-like texture where it's like the texture of a balm, but on the lips it has the shine of a gloss. That's what these are. They're very, very nice. I've really enjoyed these. I'm excited to try more Girlactic products. They did give me a discount code, by the way, you guys. I'll drop it down below for you. I think it's Lisa J Makeup, but I will have it in the description box below. If you want to pick these up, you can get them. I think it's at 25% off, so that's really good. Next up, we have a powder blush. I think it's been a while since I've fallen in love with a powder blush. This is the Makeup by Mario blush in the shade Mellow Mauve. I picked up two of these. And the other shade I picked up, I forget the name of it, but it's very similar to Mellow Mauve. These are really nice. They're powdery, but they have a pretty, very light sheen when they hit the skin, so they don't look super flat and dry. This is just a very nice, soft, rosy peach shade shade. They're very a silky powder-like texture and they have a nice amount of pigment payoff. You can get a light kind of sheer wash of color or you can build it up and get some color. But you, got, you know I lean more towards cream blushes these days, but I have been enjoying these. These are good. Okay, let's hop back over to a ColourPop complexion product. Again, one that I use today. I know I've used this in the past because I have this, but today I just fell in love with it. This is the Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder. I got the shade Light 6. Okay, this is a very lightweight, silky powder. It 
gives the skin a very matte finish though. So if you are someone that doesn't want your powder to look like dry or too matte, you're not gonna like this because this does give a very matte finish. It gives a very poreless finish too, very, very blurring. It's very beautiful. It's not for everybody. Dry skin, I would probably advise against it or again, someone that likes to wear, have a glowy hydrated look to their skin. This is just gonna cut and eliminate that. So maybe not for you, but if you have oily skin or you want you know, a real porcelain doll like finish, finish to the skin, very matte and smooth. This is beautiful. And for the price, I don't exactly know what this is priced at, but it's ColourPop, so it can't be too much. Really great powder. In fact, these three I used in my video today, and when I put away all the makeup in my studio, I'm I'm taking this home with me. This is going to be my new like go-to complexion routine. Okay, next up, let's share a little more of a luxe powder that I fell in love with. It's the Airbrush Brightening Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a white powder, and again, I've passed by this a million times at the Charlotte Tilbury display. I usually don't grab white powders, and I know that they're translucent, I know that. I know they're not gonna translate white on the skin, but I usually prefer to go with just a lighter skin tone powder if I want a little brightness. But this was used on me by a makeup artist recently, and when she put it on, I was like, oh, Oh my gosh, why have I not grabbed that? It gave just the softest, let's put a little bit on right now. I'm gonna use Nikki's brush and I'm gonna use the darker side of it just to pick up a light amount of product. It just brightens up the under eye or wherever you put it. I've been putting it underneath the eye. It also blurs the skin and gives a very poreless finish and it just gives a slight bit of brightness to the skin. And it's very lightweight, very nice, lightweight, sheer. I love it, I've really been enjoying it. I've been keeping this in my purse and using it through the day as my touch up. Now, if you're gonna ask which one is better, they're both wonderful. I can't really explain. The difference between the two really is that this is gonna be a brighter finish and this is gonna be more of your a skin tone finish, unless you grab a very, very light shade. But they're both very similar. They're both very lightweight. They're both uh, smoothing and blurring. So, you know, the benefit and the difference really is the cost difference because this is, you know, several times more than this, but they're both wonderful. Okay, let's jump on over to a new skincare product from Colleen Rothschild that I was very excited to get. I got their advent calendar. It's like 12 days of products. And for the most part, they're like deluxe size samples, but there are some stuff in there that is full size products, but even the deluxe samples are like really nice sizes. And one of the days that I unboxed was this matcha tea hydrating balm. I didn't even know Know they had this product. I was very excited about it because I like the uh, portability of this and how you can travel with this, but more importantly, I can keep this in my tote bag. I bring my tote bag back and forth to the office, home, you know, to the studio. And when it gets this time of year, my hands get extremely dry. I think you probably all can relate to that. And sometimes I'll get little like cracks in the skin around my knuckles or around my fingers and it just hurts. It not only looks bad, but it hurts. So I will take this and I will just put a little bit in areas that I need a little bit of hydration in kind of treatment healing it's almost like balm in a stick or aquifer in a stick i've really been enjoying this you can use this on the face too but i've really been just using it on my knuckles and i like to have it in my purse by the way the advent calendar that colleen rothschild has is a really great deal last i checked i think it was a hundred dollars and it was well worth more that in the product that you got and it was a substantial gift or it would be a great like a stocking stuffer thing you know when i went through with my girls i let them pick a couple products and then i kept a couple so if you want stocking stuffer ideas you can grab grab the one advent calendar and you can have 12 options. Okay guys, moving right along, let's talk about a product that I re fell in love with, rediscovered, the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Little Pots Cream Shadows in the shade Champagne. So this is a cream shadow and it is soft shimmery shade. I love the formula of this. It's very moussey and you'll know if you touch the texture of this, it's very different than any other cream shadow. A lot of cream shadows are a little more densely packed and harder and a little dryer. This is very much like a souffle and it's beautiful. The only thing is you want to make sure that you really shear it out onto the eye and the skin. I like to use my finger or I'll go in and I'll use the N16 brush from Nikki's because that's pretty much like a finger and I'll use the flat side of it and just really spread it all over the eye. This just gives the most beautiful 
highlight to the eye. You can put shadow on top of it, but honestly, I kind of love it by itself. Putting this all over the lid and then maybe throwing a matte a shade in the crease to give a little bit of a contour definition, but just a simple, quick, like no thought to it eye look, it's absolutely beautiful. If you do layer shadow on top of it, make sure you keep this application really light and thin because when it dries, it does dry. And if you have a lot of powder layered on top of it, five hours later, you might look at your eyes and feel like it looks a little dry, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, next up we have this palette from Dior. This is the Nude Essentials palette. Now I've purchased these palettes from Dior in the past and I remember purchasing one and returning it and not loving it. So I kind of passed this one up for a while but once Nikki sold me on this, I was like, you know what? Let me go back and give these palettes a better shot. You know, maybe the one I got, or maybe my skin was dry light or whatever. You know, maybe I was just having an outside like influence on why the makeup didn't look good on me. But this is beautiful. The formulas are beautiful. And again, this white shade, very similar to the white in this. It's just the most perfect little inner highlight or popping it on the center of the lid. I've been wearing these three shimmers on the lid real softly and they just give the most beautiful, beautiful sparkle and shimmer to the eye in a very soft, refined way. Again, not glittery, not chunky, not too heavy or foiled looking on the lid. Very beautiful and soft, a very luxe shimmer formula. And the mattes are very nice and velvety and soft. They're easy to work with because you don't get too much pigment you can really blend them out and work with them. I enjoy all the shades. The only shade that I haven't worn yet is this real red coppery shade. I haven't worn that one yet, but all of the others I've really enjoyed. They're easy, go-to, everyday neutrals. All right, you guys, moving right along. Another Nikki influence, the Patrick Ta Brow Pencil. She raved about this, and I picked it up, and I love it. It's a micro fine little pencil, and I grabbed two shades. Uh, which one is this? This is the light brown. I grabbed light brown. I think I grabbed medium brown, but this is nice. It's got a really fine little micro tip to it. Very creamy, goes onto the skin with, you know, little effort very easily. It lasts all day. You can create a really pretty natural looking hair like stroke with this pencil, create nice shape. I've really been enjoying it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna give some more love to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium Lip Liner. So it's Pillow Talk in the shade medium. It's not the original Pillow Talk. I have it on today. This is the perfect lip color in my opinion. It's just a very beautiful, warm pink, not too dark, but not too light either. It just gives the lips a very healthy look. You could fill in the whole lip with this and you're gonna have a natural looking lip color, but that just looks like healthy and flushed. Very beautiful, I use this all the time. Okay, and the last product that I have is a fancy YSL lipstick. I don't know what it is about YSL, but I just love their lipsticks. I don't like go buy them too often, but when I do, it's just a very, feels very special. I feel like there are certain brands that just in the branding, you know, the, the component and the weight of the product and the look of the product, it's just a special product. It invokes a feeling in you that makes you feel luxury, you know? I think um, Westman Atelier is another great example of that. But yeah, I got this lipstick from YSL. This is the shade N3, and this is a really pretty nude. And the formula is like, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. It's very pigmented. It's very comfortable. It's not like overly creamy, and it's definitely not matte. It's more like a satin formula. It's beautiful. It's just that perfect, perfect nude that gives some life to the lips. It's not like a muted nude. You know what I mean? I love it. This combo right here is really, really good. All right, so that wraps it up. If you are still here with me, let me know down below, and thank you for hanging out all this time. I'm gonna list all the products with the shade names in the description box, and again, I will tag them if I can find them on the YouTube shopping platform to make it a little bit easier for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have a beautiful day and I hope that you are enjoying this holiday season. I know it can be stressful. I know we can all get really like bogged down with all the to-dos and all the gift buying and the gift wrapping and the holiday planning and the cooking and all of the things, but try and enjoy this time. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.